Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on the weather station. How to set it up and uh, you're going to need some plastic sheets, the weather station of course, some logic and some uh, consoles and a lot of wiring. And we're in this creative world just to show you how to do it when you set it up for real and I always like to put a area power control that way when you set up the logic it kind of has everything separated so I guess uh let's throw some of the stuff on us we'll get started so first we'll go outside And we're going to put the weather station up here. Get back on. Kind of out of the way, but, you know, where we can still see it. So you notice it's got a data port and a power port. And it's also got a light on the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to face it, put it right here. I think that'll work. And then it needs uh, some plastic sheets. And now it is built. You notice you see the green light up there. We've got data, or power. We'll go ahead and flip that switch on, on and then we have data. So, let's go grab a bunch of wire. And we could start out first by, and I'm hitting C to rotate the wire. Okay, so that has power now. So now, as long as that light is green, there's no incoming storm. If you happen to notice it and it turns yellow, it means a storm's incoming. But, you don't know when it's going here. So what we're going to do is set it up so you kind of have an audible and a visual way of telling without having to stop every time from doing something down here just to look to see if that light is green still. So we need to wire around and get that data port too. So we're going to do so we're going to grab our wire cutters because that'll allow you to splice in the other wires alright so now we're done down there now if we want, we can throw this guy out here. This is a speaker. We'll put him there. And what we're going to do is go around. We'll just do the outside wiring for now. Okay, so he's wired up. To that point. Alright, now you're going to need some logic input-output. And if you look at a electronics printer, if you just type logic, it's going to be the logic I.O., which is input-output. That's the one you want. To start this, you need at least two but to do with what we're doing you're going to need more so first we're going to do a logic reader 
and then we are going to do a logic writer. Okay, so a logic writer will only send stuff out to one device. So I'm going to do a batch writer, which sends out to multiple devices. And there's a batch writer. So now we are done with those. And just to get started, over here we're going to put a large LED display. And I have a speaker out there on that wall, which we'll leave unhooked for right now. Alright, so we have all that wired in. We're going to turn that on. <clears throat> so now what we need to do is get our screwdriver because that's what you use to mess with these. Don't turn these on yet. So we're going to go weather station. Next weather event time. And then we're going to turn on the logic reader. So that's reading. So now the logic writer is going to be where it says input. You want to make sure that says logic reader. We're going to go out to the LED display large. And this will work with the smaller one. And I think that is setting. Then the next one is the batch writer. So that's going to go off the logic reader too. Both of these two chips are reading off the logic reader. So that needs to be logic reader. Out is going to be klaxon speaker. And then on. Okay. So now to do a quick test, hit escape, open incidences, toggle storm. Okay, see the, the yellowish color light that just came on? That's telling us the storm's incoming. We have 407 seconds, and it's counting down. Now you hear the alarm out there too, but... In case you're out and about, now you hear another alarm. So if you're out working, you can place these alarms around. And you'll hear it, hear it going off. So you can also change the sound of the alarms.
And if you hit C, you can go back. So now if you're over here, you can hear that one. And if we wanted to, we can have as many of those as we want, because it's on a batch writer, so it'll write to all of them. Guys, that is how you set up a weather station. Now, you don't have to have both set up. You could just do this, but I like having both. But thank you, guys, and catch you next time. Thank you.